now, Mr. Joseph Cotton on the Bromo Seltzer Hollywood Star Playhouse. Bromo Seltzer presents Hollywood Star Playhouse. Tales of suspense, thrills, adventure by Hollywood's finest writers with Hollywood's top stars. Portions of this program are transcribed and is brought to you by Bromo Seltzer, the fast, effective headache help which reminds you to... Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Herbert Rawlinson. Welcome to the Bromo Seltzer Hollywood Star Playhouse. Listen carefully to tonight's play, for there is a dark river in our story and a dark current flowing forever to a shrouded sea. A dark current and an undercurrent. This is a story of greed and hate and of savage men, of a terrible chase in which the end is a river, a nightmare of flight and pursuit. This is an essay on terror. This is Joseph Cotton as Harry Croft, the fugitive in Of Night and the River. Yes, Loot Lowry, sure. They, they do it to them. They, they did it to them. But I'm different. And I don't know where the diamonds are. They'll believe me. They've got to believe me. I, I've, oh, I've got to stay awake. I've got to make sense what I've done for that. That stuff they gave me to make me talk just made me sleep. And I've got to keep my, keep my wits about me. I don't want to happen to me what happened to Grissom and Loot. Loot. Oh, covered him right up to the top of the barrel with that cement. Oh, that's an awful way to... They're coming back now. Here they come. Steady, Cross. Steady. Close the door, champ. All right. Don't just stand there looking at me. Say something. Ask me questions. I got the answers. I got nothing to hide. Same old fool questions, Kraft. What happened to the Embry necklace? I, I never had it. Same fool questions, same fool answers. It's the truth. Persuade him, Tanner. Yeah, go ahead. Persuade him. Shut up, Chief. Kraft, how many people would you say there are in the world? How, how many? Roughly. How many people? Well, I don't know. Call each <laughs> man. <laughs> <laughs> I, never, I never counted them. I, I never counted them, boys. You're joking. You're kidding. What, what's the gag? Croft, there are in round numbers about 2,400,000,000 people in the world. Yeah. In a crowd like that, you'd never be missed. Well, and I, I'm telling you, I never knew whether... Once more, Croft, and only once more. The Embry diamonds... I told you I haven't got them, old lady. Embry still has them for all I know now. Get these ropes off me and let's get on to a little business. Chimp. Yes, he? I think... I really think this should be a Dutch door job. Open on top, closed on the bottom. I got me a brand new wash tub right outside. Wash tub. The scarf. You help Chimp with those bags of cement. No, 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 no. I won't stand for it. I won't stand for it. Hold it, boys. Croft says he won't stand for it. Oh, Croft. Yes, mon ami, yes, stand for it. Oh, you're joking. You, it's you, a dirty you... night, Croft. There's a cold yellow fog on the river. 
Even your soul, Croft, would get soaked to the middle in that dirty yellow fog. Oh, cut it. Stop, stop, Not sir. that your soul wouldn't come out a lot cleaner even in that film. You're crazy. It has a smell of fog. It smells yellow and uh, wormy. It smells yellow. It sounds dirty yellow. I want you to hear it. Oh, close it. Close the window. Close it. Listen to the dead river, Croft. Listen to the boats. The weird boats on the weird yellow river. The barges on the river Lethe. The river of hell. Go. Now listen. It's enough, Fanny. Close it. You won't stand for oh, it, Croft? Please. Fanny, uh, please, please. I'm, I'm pleading with you. I'm, <laughs> I'm begging. Is that any good? Is that what you want? Uh, begging? You'll stand for it. Nothing to do but stand. You stand in the tub, and the brethren here pour in the cement. And when it's solid enough, we take you down to the river. You go down, standing up, straight down. The water cold, the water crushing, your head bursting. The water black, crushing the air out of you. Oh, you'll stand for it, Croft. You'll stand a long time, swaying with the tide. Way down. No, no, no. Foul night and the foul river. Night and the river. No, 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 please, please. Darkness and then the flood. And then nothing. Anna, don't, don't do it. I'm... Jim. I'm, I'm, I'm crawling, Fanny. I'm, I'm crawling Jim. to you. Scott. No, 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 Fanny, no, no. i get the stuff. This can't be happening. Not, not, not to me. It's a dream, an awful dream, a nightmare. It can't be happening. The river out there, Jim on one side of me in the car, Scott with that dead smile on his face on the other side, Fanner up front driving. It's, it's not happening. The river, the ride, the tub of hot cement hugging my legs. It can't be. Think. I've got to think. Get out of this if it kills me. Die, yes, but not that way. This dirty black river. Think. Think. It's wet out. Jim and Scarf know I can't do much with cement halfway up to my knees. They're just sitting there, arms folded, no guns out. Anyhow, Scarf never carries a gun. He strangles with that white scarf of his. No guns then. So, if I stood up and reached over fast and wrapped my arms around Fanner's throat, bubbles, he'd let go of the wheel. Yes, I'll wait. Wait till we take the curve in the dark street, then I'll do it. Throw us into a skid. Yes. Rob, you wonder why I, a cultivated person, master's degree and all that, you wonder why I'm doing this to you? Ah, he's paralyzed. He ain't wondering anything. Hasn't that shot we slipped you one off, bro? Dirt. Bill, that's what you are. Filth and corruption. That's singularly correct, bro. But consider... You're crazy. You're only one of the thousands who die momentarily, bitterly, in squalor and defeat. You're only one more victim of the beast, Croft. And the beast, my dear Croft, is man. Man, the ape in armor, inflicting mindless pain and stupid death. You're a casualty of life, Croft, of the world neurosis. And we are all, all casual. You're talking crazy because you are crazy. Fanna. Fanna. If you'd only wait until this goes away, you wouldn't be doing this to me. You're quite right, Croft. I am crazy. He learned it in college, chum. <laughs> we'll be there soon. Hey, you want to watch out in the next turn? It's a bad one. Wet. Thank you. It goes more thick than fog. Yeah, Frenchy. It grows more thick than fog. Huh. Getting pretty cold. Yeah. Uh, what's that curve now, Chief? Yes. Watch that curve. Then stand up, arms around Fanner's neck, and pull. Pull him off the wheels, get the car. Casualty, huh? They'll see. Soon. 
almost. Now, Still, very dark, raining. I, I think I'm all right. It's not, not too bad. With a hundred pounds of cement wrapped around your legs, you don't dream far. The others, I don't know. It's dark and still. Only, I know this. Yes. I know this all right. The cement around my legs is broken off. I can move my legs. I can stand up. There's still a gob of cement hobbling my left leg, but I can walk. I can walk. Stop. Anna. Anna's alive. Stop. Are you all right? No. Yes. All right, dear. Are you all right? Bloody head. Nothing broken, though. Are you? On the right arm. I pulled it badly. Escape. I must escape. Gone. Dead. Chip, what about Paul? We'll find him. No, no, never. Run. Escape. Run, boys. That'll be our good friend Croft now. Thinking he can escape the river. No. It's no use. No use. I, I can't. I can't run with this. That's on my foot. I've got to... I have to rest. Just sit here. Rest. Croft, old friend. Croft. Old friend. No use, you know. That lump of cement is crunching a flat oh. man everywhere you go. Oh, what will I do? What will I do? Oh, Croft. Run. Escape. Oh. Closer. Closer. Ah! It's across the railroad tracks ahead of the train. They, they think, they, they think I'm still on the wrong side of the tracks. <laughs> oh, I've lost them. I've lost them. I'm safe. I'm in the clear. I'm okay now. I'm in the clear. Oh, no. Come on. No, no. Go, go away. Go away. Please, please, please go. Go away. Go away. I, I don't want to break that. Down, 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 down. Dog. Please, please, please. Oh, I'll kill you. I'll kill you. Stop. Stop. No, 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 on your oh. foot. It's cement. Fanner? Yes, yes, Fanner. Chisel. Have you got a chisel? Chisel a hammer. I've got a good hammer. No chisel. Oh, have a screwdriver then. Have a... Oh, he's crazy, that man. It's crazy. The river? Night in the river. Yes, the river. I read it. Him, that education of his and hating the world and everybody in it. Except to you, huh? Here's the hammer and the screwdriver. No. Get this cast off. He after you now? Yes. That chump just scared one down. Is it about the Embry necklace? Yes. Did you tell them where it was? Answer me, Harry. Harry, look at me. Look at me, I said. Louise. 
Drop those tools or I'll shoot. I want to know where the diamonds are, Harry. You too. Everybody. Better tell me where the diamonds are, Harry. Or so help me... So help me, I'll give you back to Fanna and... and the river. Romo Seltzer, famous for fast headache help, is bringing you Hollywood Star Playhouse. Tonight, starring Mr. Joseph Cotton in Of Night and the River. How do you do, ladies and gentlemen? How do you do? This is your old friend, Norman Brokenshire. You know, neighbors... An ordinary little headache can often spoil a big day for some people. No need to, though. When Bromo Seltzer fights a headache so fast, all three ways, yes, sir, you get fast relief from that headache with Bromo Seltzer. At the same time, too, Bromo Seltzer will soothe the upset stomach and the jumpy nerves that may team up with that headache. What's more, you'll like the pleasant taste of Bromo Seltzer. It's so sparkling, so refreshing. Neighbors, do me a favor. Next time you get a headache, give Bromo Seltzer a trial. Try it on this guarantee. You must be satisfied or your money back. You'll see where others fail, Bromo Seltzer works. Bromo Seltzer is on sale at all drugstore fountains and counters. Don't for a minute be bothered with a headache. Get fast, pleasant, three-way help with... Bromo Seltzer, Bromo Seltzer, Bromo Seltzer, Bromo Seltzer, Bromo Seltzer. Now, Act Two of Night and the River, starring Mr. Joseph Cotton. Who is it? Hello. Louise, don't let Come me. in. Congratulations, Louise. He came up here for a hammer and chisel, and I put my gun on him. Good work, Louise. Good work, Louise. She was trying to double-cross you. She wanted the stones for herself, and she'd have crossed you for them. Good work, Louise. Shut up, Cross. You don't believe it, do you? You don't believe, Louise, your lily girl would cross you. Well, I'll tell you what... Shut up! Oh, that's my chance. That slap is my chance. The gun is limp in his hurt hand, and I go in under the good arm and grab for the bad one and the gun, and I and I, I can't reach it. For a terrible second, I can't reach it. It's, it's like a dream again, a bad dream, a horrible nightmare. And then I've got it. At last, I've got the gun, and if it is a nightmare, it's theirs now. The scare's on them. Stand where you are, Scott. Drop that gun at my feet, Lily girl. Now... All of you go to different corners of the room. You're going to shoot us all in the back, Croft? Is that the idea? <laughs> no, Fanny. This is very good. I'm going to pick up this gun of Louise's. Then I drop it in the dead center of the table here. Now, go to different corners of the room. The three of you walk. Hmm. They're all the same distance from the gun. That gives me time to get out of here. First one of you to, to the gun eliminates all other claims to the diamonds. You scum. Why don't you just shoot us all, Crawl? I've got every rap in the world on me, except murder. There's no escape, Croft. We are all foredoomed, and escape is an illusion. You are marked by your fate. You can't escape. We're all marked. And the brand of Cain and the mark of the beast is on us all, and we shall die. And the dark river will cover us all. We shall die. Escape, Croft. It's a dream. It's too late. You are crazy. Then escape, Croft. Right. Try. I'm going to back out of the room. No one move. No one move. Until I'm gone. Then race for the gun, hmm? 
Survivor becomes my partner in diamonds, okay? Go. I run down the stairs. I float a fly with strange lightness and elation. My foot is free. I'm free. At the bottom of the stairs, I stop for a second. Carefully, I slip into the wet, musty night smelling of the nearby wars. I haven't the diamonds, but I I know where to get them. There's a party at the Ember Mansion tonight, and I'll get the diamonds all right, and then get rid of the survivor upstairs, whoever it is. Oh, oh, it's a dream, all right. Now. <laughs> Who's that? Who's there? The survivor. Scarf. Put your hands up in the air. We're partners now, Scarf. Put your hands up, Cole. All right. I will cover you for your gun now. Thank you. Now, where is the neck? I haven't got it. Try again. I said I haven't got it. You'll be very wise not to lie. I came here to get it myself. You lie. The woman does not have the necklace. I was just in there. I got here before you for that necklace. The contemptible woman did not have the stones. Even as I was strangling her with my scarf, she denied the stones. You, you killed her? With my scarf. In the Apache way. Strangle. You think I have the stones? I haven't. You admit that you came here to get them, even dying. The woman swore she didn't have them. That they were stolen. Stolen? Oh, you stole them. I just came here. The diamonds, if you please. I don't have them, I tell you. You're a liar. We can't go through all this again. I'm not lying. What good would the stones be to me if I'm sunk in the river or dead in the cypresses here? Don't be a fool's car. Oh, you see this gun here in my hand? You shoot your neck off the ground. There are police all over. But who talks of shooting? There. Hmm. I throw the gun into the darkness. This. My white scarf is silent and... Pale. No, 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 no. You are white in the darkness, eh? Keep away, keep away. Do you want to die? Do you want your eyes to stick out of your head? Do you want your tongue to go purple in your Scott, mouth? Huh? Got to listen to me. An end to this oh, now Wait, wait, wait. No more time. No, 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 no. No, no, no. 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 Joking. I, I suddenly, suddenly realized that the truth. I, I, I tried to tell, tell Scott. No use. Too late. Joking. Oh, the truth is, Fanna. Fanna must have had the diamonds all the time. Fanna. Fanna double crossing all of us. Oh. No, then, I, then, then I realized something else. This is a dream. After all, I, everything proves it. No. Oh. The terrible events of the night, my, my weakness and reaching for Fanna's no. gun, the way I floated down the steps from that room, my. Trying to scream and only a only a croak coming out now. This this choking fall all nightmare already dying. I feel myself waking, dying, waking up, waking up. I wake up. I open my eyes over oh, the overwhelming relief that. This awful dream is over. Relief. Away. Huh? Away. Scarf. The matter to open as you get to sleep night? Jim. Jim was killed in the crash. We're almost there. Banner. Banner driving the car. The river. Almost there now. I look down slowly at my feet. I have no feet. There are deep, deep in cement. A hundred pounds. A hundred pounds of sinker clutching at my legs. Oh, nightmare. It was a nightmare, all right. It was a dream, but it began too late. It began after they had me. Oh, the river. Nightmare. Night and the river. The fate man makes for himself. Nightmare without awakening. Get him out, boys. No, no, no. Man of the cops. You'll have a police. Hurry up, get rid of Crow. Now, Fanner, please. <laughs> the shoot! Help! Fanner, shoot! Let him have it! Let him have it! Shoot his head! Shoot! Keep it up! Help! Let him have it! I'm dragging you in myself, Crow. No! Fanner, <laughs> give up! Fanner, you hit! Give up! Night and the river! No, don't! Don't! No!
Joe, that was really a suspenseful performance. Thank you very much. Well, Herb, this is the kind of show I really like to do. But please don't forget Hans Conry, who played the part of Fanny. Thanks, Hans. In just a moment, I'm going to introduce Mr. Robert Ryan, the star of next week's play. And now, here is Norman Brokenshire. Say, did you ever notice how many things happen in threes? Right now, I'm thinking of a headache and the upset stomach and jumpy nerves that often team up with it. But you don't have to worry about that when you have bromo seltzer handy. No, sir. For bromo seltzer is especially compounded to fight a headache all three ways. And to fight it fast, too. So next time a headache strikes, try bromo seltzer. See how fast it works in helping the headache's pain... Also, how it soothes the upset stomach and the jangled nerves that may come with it. You'll like the sparkling, refreshing taste of Bromo Seltzer, too. It's on sale at all drugstore counters and fountains. Caution, use only as directed. And, of course, if a headache persists or recurs, see your doctor. Keep a bottle of Bromo Seltzer at home and another bottle where you work. Yes, remember, don't just fight a headache one or two ways. Joseph Cotton can currently be seen in the RKO motion picture Walk Softly, Stranger, co-starring Valley. Tonight's play was written especially for Mr. Cotton by Milton Geiger, with music composed and conducted by Jeff Alexander. The entire production is under the Mr. Robert Ryan. Every detail of the horrible accident was etched in my mind, and I knew I was the only witness to it. But when I fled, it was straight into the path of a man who ruled every rotten racket in the city, a man who wanted my silence or my death. Well, Bob, that sounds like the makings of a real thriller for next week. On tonight's program, all characters and incidents were fictitious. Any similarity to actual characters or incidents is purely coincidental. Portions of this program were transcribed. And now this is Herbert Rawlinson saying good night for all of us here on the Hollywood Star Playhouse and for Bromo Seltzer, the fast, effective headache help in the familiar blue bottle. This is CBS, the Columbia Broadcasting System.